Hello. This video will show you how you can use any commonly available USB barcode scanner to start tracking assets and inventory with Microsoft Excel. Look for resource links in the comments below, too. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Here are the requirements for getting started. You can purchase a 1D or 2D USB scanner on Amazon or from many other sources. The one we are using costs under $15, so they're very affordable. Note that 1D scanners will only scan linear stripe barcodes like UPC product codes. If you want to scan square barcodes like QR codes and data matrix codes, you'll need a 2D scanner. These can cost a little more, but provide the capability to scan almost any barcode. You'll need a copy of Microsoft Excel, or if you prefer, you can use Google Sheets or just about any spreadsheet program. In this video, we'll use Microsoft Excel as it's the most popular today. Lastly, you'll need something to scan for testing. You may want to just raid the pantry and grab a few food packages. Almost all of them will have a striped UPC barcode, which is ideal for testing. GoCodes provides a complete asset and inventory tracking solution, but we know some people would prefer to get started with a simple, low-cost solution using Excel and a handheld scanner. We've provided a link to a free asset and inventory template, which you may find helpful. Once you set up your USB scanner, you may want to configure it to automatically do a carriage return or enter at the end of each scan. Check your vendor's documentation for details on how to do this. Now we're almost ready to scan. Open your Excel sheet and enter a title for the first column. Maybe call it UPC code, then position your cursor in the next row. Now you can go ahead and scan one of the packages you collected. Note that the barcode number is already read into the spreadsheet and the cursor has moved to the next row down. Note, if you don't automatically move to the next row, you need to set up your scanner to add a carriage return. You can scan a few different items or the same item multiple times to collect some examples of how it all works. Excel is a very powerful tool for working with data like inventory and assets. You can use the scanner in Excel to search for an inventory barcode. Just open the search feature and position your cursor, then scan and see it automatically finds the first match. You can use Excel's powerful data management features to group, organize, and count your assets and inventory. Just select the first column and go to the Data tab, where you can create a count of inventory items by UPC barcode. Note that your grouped list can be expanded and contracted to summarize your data. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Let us know if you'd like to see other similar videos or whether you have questions about asset and inventory tracking.